hello everyone welcome back in this video we are going to see an overview and the lab session for azure network watcher service so we can just go to the azure portal and search for network watcher and you can open the service so the network watcher you know provides uh, multiple uh, network diagnostic tools so for example it provides ip flow verify so this tool you know can be used to check if the packet is being allowed or denied to a virtual machine or from any virtual machine but in case if the packet is being denied by any security group then we can see which rule is you know denied the packet so here let's verify the uh, packet i have the uh, you know the web server running on this vm so let's try to test the packet from vm2 to vm1 and i'll be uh, using the private ip of the vm1 which is 10.0.0.4 and in this server i have the web service running on port 80 so i'm going to run this check to test whether this package is being allowed from vm2 into vm1 so let's wait for the check to be completed okay so we can see that the access is allowed from vm2 to vm1 through this security rule so we have allow vnet inbound which is allowing the uh, traffic or the packet from vm2 into vm1 and also we have uh, you know nsg diagnostics which we can you know use it is to understand and debug the security configuration of our network so next there is a connection troubleshoot so you know this check the connection from a virtual machine to uh, another virtual machine using the fully qualified domain or URI or the IP address okay here uh, in the from source we can use this vm1 virtual machine type and uh, from the destination let's try vm2 and let's use the ipv4 and let's just check the port 80 and click on check so let's wait for this connectivity status once this is completed we can see whether it is being allowed or not okay next we can check the uh, there is another tool called next hop so here we can uh, see the next route for the packet of data and uh, this will help to understand whether the packet is being routed to the correct destination so let's see the resource group and the virtual machine so let's try the uh, destination ip address 10.1.0.4 and check what is the next hop as you know uh, both the uh, virtual network are deployed in different uh, region so here we can see that the next hop type which is virtual network peering so through the uh, virtual network peering we can you know access to the destination ip so here there is a nsg flow logs you know it helps to provide the visibility into user and application activity in cloud networks and the nsg uh, diagnostics log is provides detailed information which will help to understand and debug the security configuration of our network and uh, traffic analytics this will you know help to log information about the ip traffic that is flowing through an nsg okay so that's it in this video and i'll see you in the next